Why do so many people still think retiring at 65 is the smart choice when it could actually be one of the worst mistakes you make in your life? We've been told for years that 65 is the perfect age to stop working. But what if that's setting you up for failure? In this video, we'll uncover why retiring at this age could put your financial future at risk and why it's more important than ever to rethink your retirement plans. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before we dive into the dangers of retiring at 65, let's take a closer look at what's happening with retirement in America today. Understanding the current trends will show us why retiring at this age may no longer make sense. Did you know that 2024 is shaping up to be a record year for retirement in the US? That's right, an average of 11,000 Americans a day will turn 65 from now until the end of the year. That's about 4.1 million people. And this trend isn't stopping anytime soon. It's going to continue like this every year through 2027. Experts are calling this wave peak 65 or the silver tsunami, making the largest group of retirement age Americans we've ever seen. But more people over 65 are still working than ever before. Back in 2018, over 9.1 million Americans age 65 and up were still clocking in, whether part-time or full-time. That's a 60% jump in just 10 years. A lot of these folks are self-employed or working without the typical retirement benefits like savings plans. And it's not just a short-term trend. The number of people age 65 to 74 in the workforce is expected to grow by over 50% between 2016 and 2026. For those over 75, a staggering 91%. Compare that to the overall labor force growth rate of just 6.6%, and you'll see how big this shift really is. And surprisingly, women are working longer than ever. In the late 70s, only about a quarter of women over 55 were in the workforce. By 2013, that number jumped to over 35%, and more women are working part-time past 65. AARP reports that over half of working women between the ages of 65 and 74 are working part-time, compared to 37% of men in the same age group. So why is this happening? It's a huge shift from how people viewed retirement just a few decades ago. A Gallup poll found that 74% of workers today expect to keep working past 65. Compare that to 1995, when nearly half of the people thought they'd retire before 65. Only 14% say they'd keep working past that age back then. Today, the reality of retirement is changing. And for a lot of people, 65 just doesn't mean time to start working anymore. Now that we've seen how retirement trends are shifting in America, it's important to take a closer look at something even more concerning, your health. Retirement isn't just about leaving the workforce, it's about enjoying the years that follow. But what happens when your health doesn't hold up? The World Health Organization recently released updated data on healthy life expectancies worldwide, giving us a fresh look at how long people are expected to live without disease or disability. Now, let's break this down. Healthy life expectancy, or health span, is about how long you can live without a major illness or condition. For example, if you are disease-free until age 100 and then develop Alzheimer's and you live six more years with that disease, your healthy life expectancy is 100, but your total life expectancy is 106. So while total life expectancy measures how long we keep people alive, even if they're sick, healthy life expectancies tell us how long we can stay healthy. And that's the number we really want to watch. So what do the latest numbers say? Well, the good news is that most countries are living longer, healthier lives. But for Americans, quite different. The US is the only developed country where healthy life expectancies has actually dropped since 2010. As of the latest data, the average healthy life expectancy in the US is just 66.1 years. Compare that to countries like Japan, where it's 74.1 years, Singapore at 73.6, or even South Korea at 73.1 years. Switzerland is at 72.5, and even countries like Israel, Spain, and France 
are all over 72 years, and the US? Way down at 66.1. What's even more startling is that 66 years is about 13 months after the average American retires. Now, let's put that into perspective. With such a short window of healthy retirement, how much of that time could you realistically spend traveling to your dream destinations, exploring new hobbies, or enjoying life without limitations? For many, the reality is that their retirement plans might be cut short by health issues. Whether it's seeing the world or spending more time with loved ones, your vision of retirement could be drastically affected by declining health. While it won't happen to everyone, Retiring at 65 could leave you with fewer years of true enjoyment and more time managing health concerns, making it clear why waiting longer or planning better is so crucial. And it gets worse. The US is one of only three major countries that have seen a decrease in healthy life expectancy in two consecutive periods. The other two, Yemen and Venezuela. For Yemen and Venezuela, the reasons are clear war and economic collapse. Countries like Libya, Syria, and Iraq have also faced violent conflict, have seen drops in health expectancy, but they've bounced back in the following years. But the US, no such excuse. We've seen a steady decline, even without civil war or major national disasters. Imagine that nearly every country around the globe, from Qatar to Australia, is seeing its citizens live longer healthier lives, except for one major exception, the US. While the world's most war-torn countries struggle with conflict, the US, the world's most powerful nation, is also seeing its healthy life expectancy drop. If you're thinking, well, maybe we're just so advanced that there's no room left to improve, that's a huge misconception. In fact, the reality is far from that. The average healthy life expectancy in the US is just 66.1 years, putting us dead last among developed countries. To put it into perspective, that's behind Iran, Trinidad and Tobago, and North Macedonia. Japan, on the other hand, enjoys eight more years of healthy life than the average American. Now, let's be clear. Not only is the US trailing behind, but we're actually getting worse year after year. While most countries are making improvements, America is doing the opposite. What makes this even more ironic is that the US is the richest country in the world in terms of total GDP, and one of the wealthiest when you look at per capita income. Typically, higher GDP correlates with longer, healthier lives. But for some reason, in the US, it's not working that way. We're seeing our economy grow while our healthy years of life are shrinking. So when we talk about the dangers of retiring at 65, the stats suggest it's not a guarantee that your health will hold up. With healthy life expectancy dropping, it's clear we can't count on staying healthy into retirement. So what's the smart move to make sure you're not caught off guard? The reality is that while hitting your financial goals is crucial, your health should always come first. Why? Because without good health, What's the point of all that wealth? You can have all the money in the world, but if you're too sick to enjoy it, it doesn't mean much. Good health is the foundation for everything. Working, earning, living. If you don't take care of your health, how can you continue to build wealth? So job number one is simple. Take care of yourself. Invest time, effort, and yes, even money in your health. Eat the right foods, skip the junk, and make cooking healthy meals a priority. And don't forget about exercise. Cardio a couple times a week, along with some strength training to keep your muscles strong. It's about creating habits that will benefit you in the long run. Now, once you've got your health on track, it's time to look at your finances and start planning. For example, what would it take for you to retire at 55? It might seem like a big challenge, but it's more achievable than you think. The key is knowing what kind of lifestyle you want. Are you aiming for a simple, minimalistic life with low expenses? Or are you dreaming of travel, a new home, or even starting a business? Once you know your goals, it's easier to figure out how much money you'll need to retire comfortably. For example, can you retire at 55 with $500,000? Or maybe 1 million? 
or $2 million feels more like the right number. The rule of thumb is to have around seven times your annual income saved by 55. So if you make $100,000 a year, you should have 700,000 in savings. But that's just the starting point. You also need to think about how long that money will last and what kind of retirement budget you'll need. The key here is having a game plan. How will you hit your goals? And here's a simple secret to building wealth. Spend less than you earn. It sounds basic, but over half of Americans making $100,000 or more don't save a dime. We're a nation of spenders. There's no denying it. We pour our money into homes, cars, and education. And with over 70% of our economy driven by consumer spending, it's no wonder we're constantly bombarded with messages telling us to spend more. But it's not just about what you earn. It's about what you save and invest. Saving for the future should be a priority. Many people think they can just wing it as they approach retirement. But in the blink of an eye, that day will come when you stop working and need that financial cushion. By practicing discipline now, you can build enough wealth to live comfortably and enjoy a high quality lifestyle in your golden years. And here's where the urgency comes in. With the average healthy life expectancy in the US at just 66.1 years, do you really want to risk your financial future by not preparing? It's time to think ahead and act. So now, is retiring at 65 really worth the risk? We've broken down the reasons why it might not be the smartest choice, but now it's up to you to rethink your retirement plans. Comment your views down below. And if you thought this video was useful, please leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos like this one.